I got a job. I steal cars and sell parts. Where our cameras caught them doing donuts in the middle of the street. Y'all still think it's a game. Y'all still think it's a game. Y'all still think. Won't nobody steal your Scat Pack, Hellcat, RT, SXT, or your GT. Preferably the Hellcat and the Scat Pack. Those are the top stolen ones. Why do people persist on leaving these expensive cars unattended, no alarm, no protection? You're just leaving it anywhere. I'm going to leave it in my driveway overnight. They going to steal it. I'm going to leave it sitting on the side of the uh, street. They're going to steal it. I'm just going to run in the grocery store and get a couple of groceries. They're going to steal it. Oh, man, I'm going to run in the mall and get me them new Jordans. They're going to steal it. Check out my man right here. He he, been, he he just found out what it feel like to get that car stolen. Check it out. Job. I steal cars and sell parts. Authorities confirmed that's what happened to one man's dream car, but not before the thieves engaged in some dangerous driving that cops are trying to crack down on in the metro. The cars they're stealing are fast and the parts are valuable. I'm Lauren Halifax. And I'm Kevin Barry. Thanks for joining us. Fox 4 spotted one Dodge Challenger Hellcat doing donuts on Grand Avenue a few weeks ago. Turns out it had just been stolen and it's not the only one. Well, as you can see, they're not playing. They stole my man's car. And what did they do when they stole the car? They went straight to the nearest intersection and started doing donuts. Takeover. Took over the intersection in my man's Hellcat. And they don't care. They don't care about your car. They're not going to take care of your car. Listen, if your car ever gets stolen, chalk it up as a loss. Because they're going to beat that motor up. They're going to shred them tires. They're going to beat them brakes up. They're going to beat that suspension up. They're going to do everything. So if you do get your car, if you do get lucky, lucky enough to get your car back in one piece, it really ain't gonna be one piece. It's gonna be a ticking time bomb because they gonna beat the living. Shh, they gonna beat the living. You know what? Out of that Hellcat or that Scat Pack. Come on now. We got to pay attention, y'all. We got to pay attention. Yeah, and you've you know heard about the Hyundai's and Kias, but according to the National Institute of Highway Safety, per capita, you know, based on the number of cars on the road. Dodge Challengers and Chargers are actually the most stolen, with the Hellcat specifically being 60 times more likely to be stolen than the average car, and they can be tough for police to catch. See? You see? You see what I'm saying? They like to steal Hondas, Kias. Them little cars is easy to steal, but you know what they really want? <laughs> you know what they really want? They want your Hellcat Charger, your Hellcat Challenger, and your Scat Pack. Challenger and Charger. That's what they want. They don't really want. They, they want those little bitty cars. You know, they want to joyride in them, but they want to joyride in your Hellcat. Then they want to take your Hellcat to the nearest chop shop. Chop it up, part it out, and make that moolah all on your expenses. And you're like, oh man, I ain't tripping. I got insurance. You do got insurance, but guess who got to pay the deductible? You. That's right. And guess what? They're not going to give you the full value of your car. Oh, man, I had my Hellcat for like three years. Well, guess what? They're going to give you what the Hellcat is worth after three years. If you got 50,000 miles on it, they're going to give you what they believe a 50,000-mile Hell, 50, Hellcat costs. You're not going to get a brand-new car. And at these times, you know these cars are starting to go slowly, slowly fade away. It's going to be harder and harder to find one. And you already know how these dealers acting right now. They overcharging for these bad boys. Come on, y'all. We got to use our heads. We just, we got to use our heads. We cannot keep leaving. We got to put alarms on these cars, kill switches, whatever it takes to protect your investment. Come on, let's see what's going on. Let's keep going. Dodge Challenger owner Brian Webb wears the love for his favorite car on his sleeve, quite literally. Last month, his Scat Pack 392 Shaker was stolen from a Northwest Barrier Road restaurant. I come out to get into my car and I see nothing but broken glass. Radar detector was cut. It was spotted first in the Claycomo Ford plant trying to steal another person's Challenger. Their alarm went off and at that point they outran Claycomo PD with my vehicle. They'd later outrun Kansas City police after doing donuts. But these returned to the same Ford parking lot a few days later. Ever since my buddy bought one in 15, that became my dream car. And 
I put all, you know, everything I could into the car. And took David Christian's 2016 712 horsepower Hellcat and headed to Grand Avenue downtown. Where our cameras caught them doing donuts in the middle of the street. Christian immediately recognized his sinister vehicle with custom mods, as would dozens of others in the metro area following a post on social media. I've never seen this car go, any car go viral like mine's gone. I mean, it was all over everywhere. And trying to follow that fast car. One guy was in a uh, lawn care uh, setup <laughs> with a trailer, trying to drive through traffic, trying to catch my car. I just couldn't catch it, dude, I'm sorry. You know, I don't even know this guy. And he's chasing down my car. Of course they couldn't catch the guy that stole your car, doofus McGoofus. No offense, no disrespect. You ain't a doofus or you doofus McGoofus. I just say stuff like that, but uh, of course they wasn't gonna catch it. It's a Hellcat. And uh, I don't know no Hellcat that's got 712 horsepower. So he might, maybe he modified it from an old 707 because I thought they were 707 or 717. But uh, he probably modified it and then so, a little something through a cool air intake or some little little tune or something. But of course you wasn't going to be able to get that car. Of course they was tri doing crazy stuff in your car. And my man with the tattoo of his favorite car, you went out to eat and you came back outside and your car was gone. I wonder why. You probably didn't have, you probably had that factory alarm on it. You probably didn't even have a real alarm on it. You had that factory alarm on it. So they didn't even know, you didn't even hear your car going off. And these thieves must have been so good, nobody even knew they was out there stealing your car. I mean, when I go to a restaurant, I usually park my car somewhere by a window and I usually tend to sit by that window, even though I'm alarmed up and you get that bad boy, you a bad, bad man if you get mine. But at the same time, how do you steal a car while the person is at the restaurant eating you still managed to steal it. They not playing. These thieves are high tech, smart guys. They not or gals. They not dummies. They know what they doing. They done did it so much. It take them that fast to get your car. I guess you wasn't. Him, these two guys must have been not been paying attention. They must have just been like, from the looks of it, it seemed like they was from little towns. And that's what you get comfortable when you live in a little town. You think, oh, I know him. He know me. They know me. Everybody know everybody. You do know everybody. But guess what? Usually people drive through little towns and thieves love driving through little towns. Like I said earlier in the video, looking for potential victims. Cause if I steal your car from here, I drive it all the way a couple hundred miles away, hit the chop shop, get all the, uh, part it out, make all that money. You never see your car again. You're not from that town. So they ain't gonna know. And they leaving their cars just out with no worries because they used to being in a little bitty town where everybody, nobody's stealing from nobody like that. Thieves love those kind of towns. I guarantee you that. But uh, let's keep on going and see what's going on. Police deployed stop sticks 39 times successfully to stop cars in a legal sideshow and towed three vehicles in Kansas City Sunday. And these people are ruining uh, the car community because most of the people that drive these cars don't go and do that stuff. But they didn't get Christian's Hellcat. He got a call from the highway patrol today telling him it ended up in pieces. With the engine alone worth up to $30,000, Webb has to figure he'll eventually get the same sad news. I work hard for my money, and for this to happen is just put me into, like, a, a, a huge depression. I feel sorry for Buddy, you know. I, I definitely, definitely feel sorry for Buddy. The one guy with the Hellcat... They end up taking his Hellcat. As you can see, they chopped his Hellcat down. They chopped it down. They, they end up just chopping it straight on, chopped it down. Had they fun in it, Took a, did a couple little burnouts in the intersection, probably did a whole bunch of racing in it. Who knows all types of stuff. They probably stole other uh, Hellcats in his car. And um, after they got done doing what they wanted to do, they took it to the chop shop, parted it out, made all that money. You heard what he said, the engine alone, $30,000. 30 racks for just the engine. It probably took them all of 10 minutes, maybe five minutes to steal the car. They made at least 30,000 on the engine. They probably made another five, 6,000 on the wheels and suspension. They probably made another uh, two, three grand on the uh, exhaust. They probably made another two, two grand on the uh, interior, another 1,500 on the screen, the uh, sunroof. They probably made money on that. The lights, they probably made a good couple hundred dollars on it. I mean, the light, uh, the spoiler, the trunk, hey, man, they made a, they made a killing. The only thing they left was the shell, and if they could get rid of the shell, they would. But that's just too much. They like, you listen here, we ain't gonna take the chance with the shell. They just wanted the internals, the guts. 
So like I said, man, they not playing out here. Y'all playing. Y'all playing. Y'all think, oh, man, these cars ain't as hot as they used to be. They ain't like uh, going viral like they used to be. What rock you under? They still going viral. They still just as hot. They still just as wanted. You just ain't paying attention when you ride around here with no alarm. You just spent $90,000 on a Hellcat. You ain't going to go put alarm on it. You ain't going to put alarm on it. You ain't going to put a kill switch on it. You just going to keep on playing with fire? I know what it is. I know what it is. You got roly polies in your head. They just rolling around. You like to get burned. You like to get burned. Obviously, these guys like to get burned. No pun intended. They didn't seem to not. They understand. Hey, your car is wanted. It don't matter where you live at, who you are. It don't matter what color your skin is. At the end of the day, we all more poor about the brotherhood. They want our car. Oh, but they're stealing Camaros right now. So do you mean to tell me if it's a Camaro sitting there and it's a Hellcat sitting there? Which one you think they're going to steal? The Z01 or the Hellcat? Which one you think they're going to steal? I'm going to tell you what they're going to do. They're going to steal both of them. Both of them gone. Period. Let's see some else. Let's see what else they're talking about. Shows and burnouts is difficult right now, but Kansas City, Missouri police did issue more than 200 citations just in the second half of 2022. Those turned deadly in Kansas City, too. In 2022, one spectator died after getting run over in a sideshow on East Front Street. In both 2020 and 2023, people were shot and killed at illegal sideshows in Kansas City, Missouri. Now, the news is making it seem like when they steal these cars, they're just taking the, uh, these illegal meats, which they do a lot of times. But the smart, the smart thief is probably, as soon as he steal it, he's taking it to the chop shop, getting to, getting to, getting to get to work, he's chopping it down, getting all the parts out so they can go ahead and part that bad boy out to people that's looking to put a Hellcat swap motor in a 300. You know, they're doing 300s real good. They even got, I'm starting to see Mustangs with uh, Hellcat motors. All type of cars popping up with Hellcat motors. They're just throwing these Hellcat motors into everything. So the, the smart thief is going to steal the car and he's going to get it to from point A to point B and start chopping it down. Now these young kids, these young Thundercats, these young Pots... They want to go to these illegal uh, meets and do burnouts and do all type of crazy stuff. End up getting in a, you know, when you go to these illegal meets, you playing with fire. You know, I know it's kind of getting a little off the topic, but it's still on the same topic. When you go to these these little pop up meets with it's a whole bunch of people. When you get a whole bunch of people, whole bunch of adrenaline, a whole bunch of high side, and I want to be the coolest guy out here with my stolen Hellcat or with my paid for Hellcat testosterone get the bumping heads and the next thing you know gunfire shooting people getting shot people getting into fights more cars getting stolen people uh following you home in your hellcat uh trying to steal your vehicle it's just all type of stuff when you go to these illegal meets you could avoid by not going to those meets Keep yourself safe. It's basically what your boy Unc T like, the great werewolf, the young liking is telling you. Keep yourself safe. If you know it's going to be a pop-up meet, don't go. Just don't go. It ain't even worth it. You know, go to a legit car meet. That way you can be safe. I'm trying. I'm just trying to keep you safe. Now, if you want to take your roly-poly, skittle brain, doo-doo brain, self-doubt there and take the chance, you go right ahead. I can't stop you from being a doofus, my goofus, a goofy goofball. I can't stop you. You're going to do what you want to do when you want to do it. I can only tell you. Don't go to the pop-up meets because the reason I wouldn't go is it's the danger and also what better place to spot Hellcats to steal? What better place to tag your Hellcat so they can steal it, your Scat Pack so they can steal it, your RT, your SXT, and your GT? A pop-up meet. All the Mar Mopars out there, oh, I'm going to steal that one, that one, that one, that one, that one, that one, that one. They done got all, they done marked so many people's cars and next thing you know, a lot of cars getting stolen. I'm just one. I'm just trying to help y'all out. This is what your Unc T like do. I'm gonna bring you the stuff that other people ain't gonna talk about. I'm gonna talk about it. I'm gonna tell you the truth on it. I'm gonna tell you what to look out for and how to keep your car safe. Get you an alarm. Get your kill switch. Now, if you don't want the car no more, <laughs> go and take it to your nearest uh hood, <laughs> Chicago somewhere. Park it and walk away. <laughs> Because <laughs> I promise you, it won't be there when you come back. <laughs>
<laughs> you don't want to pay for that hundred thousand dollar Hellcat no more. Just take it to the mall. <laughs> Go shopping for about two, three hours. I promise you. <laughs> it won't be there when you come back. <laughs> But with that being said, but I just wanted to touch bases, man, and let y'all, we was going to react to this video. Two people lost their vehicles. One person got a Scat Pack Challenger stolen. The other person got a Hellcat Challenger stolen. In both instances, they was seeing that pop-up meets. One Hellcat, as soon as it got stolen, the guy was, they was doing burnouts on the same, in the city that they stole it from before they left the city. So, with that being said, man, y'all keep y'all vehicles safe. And uh, I appreciate y'all, man. Before I go, I definitely appreciate the love y'all showing me. All of the support is very much appreciated. And for those who don't uh, or, well, are not subscribed to my channel, man, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. It's free to subscribe. It's free to like. It's free to dislike. It's free to hate. It's free to do whatever you want. Just show your voice of support. Give me some feedback. What do you want me to talk about? What kind of car reviews do you want me to do? I'm going to try to make it happen for y'all. But with that being said, y'all stay blessed up. It's the great liking T-Light, a.k.a. the great werewolf T-Light. I'm signing on up out of here, man. Y'all stay blessed up. Stay safe. I'm gone. Peace. Be the pan, that's what they call me. I promise that you never be lonely. Be the pan, that's what they call me.